Myths have been passed on to us for generations unless someone's curiosity has debugged them. Like in the days of Christopher Columbus, everyone thought the world was flat. It was one of the biggest myths. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and so on. Myths need to be deconstructed and debugged. And with that intent in mind, I set out to debug and clear the mystery around luxury EV sedans. And that it can be taken out of the city limits, do a bit of calculated adventure, drive on the banks of a river and come back without having to charge it. You know why? Because the Mercedes EQS 580 has a colossal battery pack of 107.8 kilowatts, which is enough to kill all your range anxiety. WLTP range of 677 humongous kilometers. Time to go with the first adventure, the jungle safari. Can't wait to see the tigers. If you can get to see a tiger, it'll be worth every penny of it. After spending five hours, could not spot a tiger. Maybe next time. But what I realized, we had to also keep quiet so that the tigers and animals could be spotted and they feel comfortable. So, EVs would make such a nice case for a jungle safari. Back to the EQS then. The air quality and whiff in the air in Kabini is so pure and unadulterated. Though the HEPA filter filters out 99.65% of particles inside the cabin of the EQS 580. Outside of it, my lungs are feeling surreal. It's time to go to another mesmerizing place, Kurg. The smell of coffee can really awaken all your senses, change your mood, a charge you to perform. Back there, our EQS still has plenty of charge left, no range anxiety, and this coffee plantation walk is like a debauchery where you can indulge with around 265 acres of coffee plantation all around me. And as a particular type of coffee, coffee robusta has been grown here, but more on that from the man, the naturalist himself. These are the white coffee flowers, mm -hmm. which, you know, this is the season of blossom. Correct. So right after we harvest, after one or two weeks, we get the white flowers out of the coffee plants. So there were red cherries in the same place where you're seeing the white flowers now. And uh, yeah, these flowers are basically pollinated by honeybees. So honeybees pollinate them, which form the seeds for the next season's coffee. A strong coffee also massages your mind and the EQS has multiple massage options with a fragrance and an ionizing purifier which can completely spoil you. So much that while parked is pushing me to go and get a taste of cool massage. Maybe they have a coffee option. Totally rejuvenated both mind and body. But the massage continues in the EQS 580. It's time now to awaken the soul by visiting the second largest Buddhist monastery outside of Tibet, Nam Drolik. Wow, what a beautiful monastery that was. A visit to any monastery, temple, church or mosque for that matter brings out that good in you, that positivity and reinforces your faith in the overall goodness. And listening to this music in the immersive sound experience of the Burmester sound system is just the perfect way 
to end your day. Wow, a waterfall is a sensual delight. Feast to your eyes, music to your ears. It's like a therapy in itself. This is the Abbey Waterfall, 50 kilometers from Kurk, and it's something that will completely refresh you, completely recharge you. It's time now to go back to the EQS for the another sensual delight to another destination. Let's carry on. Well, this breathtaking and huge Abbey Waterfall are in perfect sync with this colossal 56 inch hyper screen with one of its kind co-driver display with crystal clear resolution makes the EQS so much more interactive so much that I don't really miss any companion and if I do have a companion then it can store up to 800 personalizations of vehicle settings seat comfort music programming and each of the seven user profiles and how neat is that Sustainability is the word. Whether you're riding an electric bike like this, munching miles, sweating it out, or driving a luxury EV like the EQS 580, or planting a tree somewhere, you are doing your bit to save the world. And every time I look at this beautifully sculpted design with these illuminated seamless door handles and a one board design with a coupe-like silhouette, fits in very well with the peace and tranquility of this green environment. Time for some new dungeons. Away from city life where you don't breathe like this, have breakfast, well, on top of a tree like this. But like all good things come to an end, it's time to head back to Bangalore with the sounds of nature and this picturesque sight captured in my mind forever. And doing that in an EV is going to bear some great fruit someday. And do I have range anxiety? Let's find out. No, I did not have to charge the EQS. Though the Evolve Bag Resort have a 7 kilowatt charging bay, which could have further juice of the EQS. And as luck would have it, we are driving on the recently opened Mysore Express Highway 119 km Expressway built over 8,500 crore. This is a 6 to 10 lane highway, very, very smooth tarmac. Some patches are still under, under construction. The tools are still not working, so you can imagine that this is still some work in progress. Yes, it is really nice to hammer down the EQS on this. I've been very gentle with this so while because I was driving on comfort and economy. But with the dynamic mode, you can always go back to sports mode. And the moment you go to sports, you can actually change the settings and put some sound exhaust. And this is how it sounds like. <laughs> this will definitely bring a smile on your face. It's not exactly an ICE engine. Yes, that you can't be replaced. But this is decent enough to go back. So this is a very blissful journey because this is just fresh out of the woven highway and spotless. This is completely spotless. I have to say something about the rear axle steering because this really gets a very nice turning radius to the car because the rear wheels also move in the direction where you want to go. This is very good considering the length of the car which is huge and if you are cut in short corners like I was driving along those small stretches and whenever I was cornering it really felt very very useful. Here I don't need this all I need is to accelerate. 630 kilometers in spite of driving it hard well at times, but completely wrapped in luxury, debugging one myth that a luxury sedan and an EV can be taken outside city limits for a little adventure, drive alongside river banks, go to the shores of a jungle safari without causing any damage to your car, without any range anxiety and come back to from where you started. Yes, the roads in India are not as bad as you think or maybe all that was possible because of this, the Mercedes EQS 580.